guys, today I'm going to be opening this full set of Riemann's Little Twin Stars Yume Miru Otome Room. And this is the cutest set that I have ever seen. There was a Little Twin Star set quite a while ago that I've always wanted and it's super expensive wherever I look. So, I'm really happy that they came out with a new Little Twin Star set. So, you know, I usually open a few at a time, but today I'm going to take the plunge and open them all in one video. Let's just start at the front and work our way back. Ah, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, first one. Ooh, what is it? It comes with a little piece of gum. Yay. Otome no midashinami. So it's a little dresser. And what is this? Oh, it's um, oil blotting papers. Interesting. It's so cute! Look at that! A little drawer, and it comes out, of course. It also comes with a little sticker mirror that you can put on the dresser. I'll do that real quick. It also comes with this little, I don't know, makeup case of some sort. <laughs> and a little puff to apply the makeup. And two little bottles. I suppose it could be like perfume bottles or hairspray and I can't do this from over the camera so that was the first set the little dresser set continuing on with box number two I'll try to go a little bit more quickly because we have eight of these to open Ooh, Dokusho no Jikan reading time this set comes with a little book it says it is the constellation book a little cushion it's really cute in detail I love how it looks like a real cushion a little snack, some candies in a glass, and the little bookshelf. This is super cute. I love little stars on top. Box number three. Ooh, the paper's all crumpled. What one is this? It is Gohobi Tea Time Reward Tea Time. Tea Time is now a reward. This set is so cute! So here's a little tray. It has the little twin stars on it. Then there's a little teapot. It has the little twin stars again. This is so cute! I love the pastel theme. Some sugar cubes. A cup of tea. A plate. And then a little cookie to go on the plate. Isn't that so cute? And a little spoon. Box number four. I mean, we can look and see what it is, or we can just open it up. Let's open it. Ooh, the sewing machine! Okay, so I really wanted this set because of the sewing machine, because I just thought it looked so cute. It says, Daisuki Handmade. It says, I love handmade. Is this not adorable? The little sewing machine, and this part even turns a little. And there's a little spool of thread. Let's see, does this go on here? Yep. And it's star-shaped. It's so cute. And then there's this little basket and some scissors that look like they'd be hard to use. And a little pin cushion. Huh. Ooh, what is this one? Ta-da! Okiniri no goods. My favorite goods. These are so cute. I can't stop saying it. So here's a little twin star's bag and my friend has a bag similar to this it's so cute so you can put stuff in the bag there's a little bag charm that can go on the bag I believe like that let's see like that oh that's cute and then some shoes now I don't know if they'll fit any dolls but they're still cute and here's a little star shaped chair it's adorable three more to go Okay, what one is this one? Ooh, gum. Hmm, this one looks like it has a lot of little pieces. What is it? Amaimono daisuki. I love sweet things. Oh, so they're cupcakes. Ta-da! This set is so adorable! And I think I've said that every single time now, and I'm sorry. So here's a little plate. This is Little Twin Stars, and it has a cute design of Kiki and Lala on it. Here is a little, I don't know, strawberry milk with a cute unicorn on it. Two cupcakes, Kiki and Lala, some whipped cream, a little fork that goes with the other one, I think it matches, then a little piece of decorated chocolate. Oh, gums on top on this one. 
Ooh, what's this? Hemits no otegami, a secret letter. Ta-da, I had to put it all together, but it's super cute. There's a little photo that can go in the photo frame here. And a little wand. Oh no, it's a pen. You can write with it. And then the key actually fits in the keyhole. Is that not awesome? And then the desk comes apart like this actually, but it can be put together and that is so cool! Last one guys! What one is this? I don't even remember all of them. I just remember that I was excited about the sewing machine. Ooh, a unicorn! This is the Unicorn to Yume no Nakae Into Dreams with the Unicorn. So it's supposed to be a cushion or pillow. So I get why it's called like Into Dreams with the Unicorn because it is a little nighttime set. It's a little toothbrush, toothpaste, and a cup with the cutest design on it. They're brushing their teeth. And the little lamp is adorable and like it's like a real lampshade. It wobbles. And then here's the little unicorn. What I thought was amazing about this is that it has a little tag right there. Is that not like amazing? Like, okay, I can only say amazing. But this is the cutest remit set ever. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is the whole set, and I know I repeated myself millions of times. I apologize for that, but this set is seriously too cute. I am so totally in love with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this too. Let me know what you thought of the full set remit unboxing instead of, you know, a few boxes at a time. If you like this, give this video a thumbs up, and I may do it this way in the future. Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening this full set of Sailor Moon Remet mascots, and they are sweet, and they look so adorable. I love the little cupcakes, and I opened that one in my blind box video, but I haven't seen any of the others yet, so today we're going to be checking out all of them. Here's the inside of the box. Let's just start at the front here and see what we get. I can't wait to see what the Luna cupcake charm looks like. So this is her brooch in cupcake form. It looks so real. It looks really, really pretty. And then there's a little chocolate charm on here. And it's Usagi or Sailor Moon. And it even has like a chocolate drip on the edge here. I think this should be in order. And this is the second one. Let's just keep opening. Here is the cookie. This is supposed to be the Cutie Moonrod Macaron Cookie. And it looks like they all come with little chocolate blocks. Here's one with a little moon. So there's a macaron inside of the cookie. Is this even possible to make, like, an actual one? Here is the third one. Another cupcake. I love that it comes with so many cupcakes. This is the Crystal Star Brooch Cupcake. That is a cherry on top. And you can even see the cupcake. It's textured and colored so perfectly. Here's a little chocolate. This one has a bite taken out of it. This should be number four, I believe. Ooh, it's Tuxedo Mask Pat. Oh, this is number six. This is Tuxedo Mask Fondant Chocolat. So it's a lava cake, so if you cut inside it, it has chocolate syrup. Basically, it's not syrup, but it comes out from inside. And then here is the little bow. These are so nice. They are so well made. Now, this one should be Luna, and then we have the other one. I think I'm most excited for this one. Is that not adorable? Here's a little Luna cupcake. Look at how the frosting is textured to look like real frosting. It's not made to look super smooth and perfect. It's made to look real. And here's the chocolate. Another Sailor Moon. I guess this one didn't come with the chocolate. Last one. This is probably that one. I mean, it should be. If it's not, that means they put the wrong one in. So, yep, it's the right one. This is the Moon Stick Chocolate. So it's meant to be a chocolate candy. And it's chocolate dripping. And then there is a little chocolate block on this one. That is Luna. Yep. So here are the six charms that come in the Sailor Moon Sweets mascot remit set. And I love each and every one of them. I think Luna is still definitely my favorite. I love how it looks. Anyway, if you guys are interested in purchasing this set, you can probably check out Amiyami. I don't know too many shops that ship internationally because I'm based here in Japan. 
and I've never really looked for them. But if you guys know of any cool shops that sell remints and ship online or overseas or ship from foreign countries, let me know and I'll add the links to the description box. We can all help each other out here. So, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. They are all very, very cute, but mine is this one. Anyway, that's all for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, it's Abby, and today, da -da, I have a full set of remints. And I'm excited because I have not unboxed a full set in a very, very long time. Let's get into the opening. So this is a full set of Sumiko Grashi Waku Waku, ke ku ke bleh, waku waku Cooking. So exciting cooking. And it comes with this little diorama of a kitchen, I believe. Maybe we'll put that together in a second. I always get lazy when it comes to the little paper craft part. But anyway, there are eight boxes. We're going to open them all today. When you buy an unopened box, you usually get a full set. And so I'm assuming it's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four. It doesn't really matter. But we will start here because I believe this is going to be number one. How cute is this? I see a burger cake. And we won't look too closely because we're going to see them on the end. Ta -da! We have set number one, the rice cooker set. Oh no, stickers. I'm really bad at these. So we have the Ashitawa Onigiri Bento set. Making onigiri for lunch. And it comes with some paper crafts. Here is the rice cooker. Let's put hot in. And the rice in. I guess you can keep the onigiri in here, the rice balls in here as well. Oh wait, I see a little face. And there's a rice paddle shaped like Shirokuma, polar bear. So I'll scoop that out. And let's see if I can do this right. We have a pickled plum, umeboshi, a little piece of seaweed, and here's the pickled plum one. And a lunchbox for them to go into. And the lid, which I was gonna say looks very bare, but I think the stickers go on it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera because I think I can do it better that way. Do, 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 do. Look how cute it is now, guys. I'll be honest, I struggled a bit, but it looks cute. So this one is a little crooked, but it's fine. So there's the first one. I'm gonna set that aside. Taking the next one. Let's see what we have here. Da -da! Ooh, looks like fried food. Agemono ni chosen. Trying to make fried food. The little paper cutout is panko, breadcrumbs. And here we go. The fryer is tonkatsu, appropriate. We have some frying oil. A little tonkatsu. And if you flip it over, it is a uncooked katsu. So you can put it in the breading and then pop it in the fryer. And voila, all fried and a little ebi fry. Except he's not the tail, he's a full ebi fry. Look at that. Once they are fried, you put this on the pan and drain that grease. And once you have drained the grease, you can put your fried foods on the ebi fry plate. I didn't use it, but the little strainer ladle. What is this actually called? Does it have a proper name? I just call it a strainer ladle. Third one. Ugh, here we go. Ooh, what is this? Minna daisuki, hamburg. Everyone loves hamburgers. That's pretty true. I mean, unless you're vegan or vegetarian. I mean, vegans and vegetarians could like tofu burgers. I like tofu burgers. Papercraft is a placemat. We have a fry pan and we have a polar bear burger, which is uncooked. But if you take the spatula and flip it, it's a cooked burger. I think my plate has a scratch on it. A little smudge of paint. There is a cutting board that is shaped like penguin, question mark. And the little veg. I'm gonna assume this is cucumber. And it goes together. I only have one hand right now, so I'm not gonna put it together. But you can put it together. But you can also cut it apart. And tomato. I think it's tomato, yeah. Which also goes together. And you can put them on the plate. Have a little side salad. And dinner is served. This is the halfway point, guys. Number four. I love that you basically get a whole kitchen set with this full set of remints. There's an appliance in this one. Microwave. 
toaster. It is the oven de saksaku cookie. Baking saksaku crisp crunchy cookies in the oven. This set kind of reminds me of the Nyanko kitchen. Gotcha. First we have the oven. More stickers. The little cookie sheet pan. What do you call this? Let's see. We have the raw dough. First you roll out the dough with the rolling pin. Take the cookie cutters and cut the shapes out. Place them on the cookie sheet. Pop them into the oven. We're gonna pretend we popped them in there. And bake them! How cute! Can you guys see the face? The little paper craft is a cookie sheet. Like wax paper, so it doesn't stick to the pan. Number five. Hoomuddy, pancakey, fluffy pancakes. Do you guys like fluffy pancakes? The really thick pancakes, we call them hot cakes here, I guess, seem to be really popular. And the jiggly pancakes, which are basically just egg whites. Those are really popular here too. I personally like thin pancakes, like in a stack. That's how my grandpa used to make them. Alrighty, let's take a look. Here we have a bowl, mixing bowl, it's pink. And we'll put the flour in there. Oh, there's a little egg. So you can put the egg yolk in the egg and then you can crack the egg. Oh no, don't get stuck. Onto the flour. What else do you put in a pancake? Sugar, milk. We can give it a stir and pour it in. So it looks like that. And then we'll cook it. Voila. Here's the plate. Put the pancake on there. Pour some honey over it, and the honey, let's see, who is this? Tokage, or is it tonkatsu? And here's a fork, ready to eat. I would have loved to have these kits when I was, I don't know, like between the ages of six and 10, when I played with dolls. This would have been so much fun. Nope, here we have a sticker. Let me pop this on. Ja -ja! It says pancake. It's Tokage and his mother. Are you ready for set number six? Three more to go, guys. Ooh, this looks like, uh, I'm gonna say a burger. Yep, that's a burger for sure. Let's dump this out. Oh no, I see a very tiny piece. Oh, why? Why couldn't they have just printed the design on the plate? Let's see if I can put this on. That actually wasn't too bad. So here we have our plate. Let's take our buns, little bottoms, and how about a patty? There's only one patty. Is one supposed to be like a sandwich? Let's make a cheeseburger. It says you can stack them however you want. Well, I want a big fat burger. And of course, we'll put shirokuma on top. So there is a big fat burger. So there are our two burgers. And, okay, guys, you ready? Here's the ketchup bottle. And the ketchup squirts out. And then, okay, so this is gonna be the difficult part. There are little sticks here. I have to put some stickers on. Ta -da! They are little flags. So these were a pain. Anyway, they're looking pretty good. There are a few flaws like scratches and little paint smudges here and there that I am noticing and I feel like weren't really an issue maybe in previous sets, but not a huge complaint. Number seven. Which one is this? Soda bottle, drinks, ooh, ice cream float. Gotta be careful with these little pieces. There's a tiny cherry here. That's the thing about remints. They are cute and they work as dollhouse props, but they're very small. So I don't know what the suggested age is. Doesn't really say. Just says, don't put it in your mouth. So whatever age you stop trying to eat your toys, I guess. Here we have some ice cream. I'm gonna assume it goes in the ice cream box here. And of course, there's a sticker that goes on it. Have a scoop of ice cream. We can scoop that out. Actually, before we scoop the ice cream, we should pour the soda in this adorable cup. 
melon soda. I'm gonna assume, is that how that goes in there? Oh, well, I hope that's right because it's stuck now. And we have an ice cube tray. Let's see if I can get these in the right tray. This one has ears. This one is tokage, I think. But I'm gonna pop these out into the drink. Don't know if that's right, but we'll take a scoop of ice cream and plop it on the top and place the little cherry on top. How cute. A little melon float. Sticker time, hold on. First sticker is on and this says cutie, which means cucumber. So is this cucumber juice? I don't know how I feel about that. Here we have Pen Pen ice cream, penguin ice cream. Last one guys, are we ready? Who is the grand finale? Jum! Oh, it's the cake! I think that's an appropriate grand finale. Oh, but look at all the little pieces. First, let's put this away. Cake stand! Oh, it has a little bow on it. Oh no, it's a little candy, I think. So first, let's put the cake on the cake stand. And there are slices of cake already cut. But if we do that, it is a whole cake. Shiroku no plate. Server. Fork. Oh, look at it. It's like the ketchup. There's a little bit of whipped cream that comes out. Hmm. How should this be decorated? No, don't fall over. Here, now I'm going to serve a slice of the cake on the little shirokuma plate. Looks like it is a vanilla sponge with a strawberry cream and frosting. Probably whipped cream. Japanese cakes usually have whipped cream on them instead of like a buttercream or frosting. But you never know. Let me know what kind of cake is your favorite. I like anything chocolate or coffee flavored. And so that brings us to the end of today's unboxing video. I had so much fun. I love remints. Let me know if you guys have opened any remints recently. And if you have any photos, send them to me. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, look what came in the mail today. The new Pokemon Cafe remint. And I'm super duper excited to open this. It's a full set. I'm going to open all of them today. No holding back. We're going to see how cute they are. I believe this is the second Pokemon remint, well, kind of the miniature set, that has come out. Oh, it comes with a cute backdrop. Oh, this is so cute. And I didn't get the first Pikachu room set because I felt it was just overly yellow. And I mean, that's to be expected because it's Pikachu, but you know me and miniature foods. I could not resist this one. So I'm sure they're in some sort of order. I'm just gonna go from the front and start opening. Here's the first one. The packaging is so cute. It is actually called Pikachu Komorebi Cafe. Komorebi is, I've heard it is a word that is exclusive to Japanese. It means the light that filters through the trees. It's very pretty. And so it is, I guess you could take it to mean Pikachu's Cafe in the woods, maybe. Anyway, without further ado, ta -da! this is number eight. Oh, there are very tiny pieces. Oh, it's a little box. It says original macaron. Let's see, we have all oh, the three starters on macarons. No, oh, flip over, wrong side. No, Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. There we go. And then the lid can go on that. Oh, that is so cute. Uh, teapot or coffee pot says Komorebi Cafe. Little bottle of honey that is Pikachu shaped. Looks like a little bag of coffee. So these are little treats that you can buy at the cafe and take home is what the set is, I believe. Whoops. It comes with a little extra sheet. What is this? Oh, it's a little menu. Cute. So a little paper craft. And then here is the set. Is this number one? Yep, it's called Welcome to the Cafe. Here's the welcome sign. It's a little menu pop board. Here is a drink. Looks like it could be a melon soda. There is a straw that goes in there. And I see a pineapple wedge. I bet this goes on the side of the cup. I don't know where this flower goes. Let me look at the paper. Oh, there's a little paper for the waffle and coasters. Looks like the flower goes on the edge of the cup. Let's see if I can figure this out. 
There we go, that seems to work a little better. So it's a little fruit punch or something. Here's a stand for the Pikachu figure to go on. I think it's meant to look like wood. You can put that in front of the cafe to welcome guests. And we have one lone waffle has Pikachu ears. I would love a waffle maker that has Pikachu ears. So I guess this is kind of a takeout menu maybe since it comes with the paper wrapper. I always mean to do the paper crafts that come with these but I never get around to it. So I have a pile of these little remit sheets. Next one. Ooh, pancakes. This is so cute. It's a little plate with Pikachu on it. And there's a pancake with a face. Here's a pancake without a face. Let's put that on the bottom. Another Pikachu pancake. And the Pikachu with the face. We'll put that one on top. Then, let's see. Here is a drink. Oh, you can put it together. Hold on, I'm gonna put the pancakes down. Let's see if we can figure this out. There is a hole for the straw and a hole here. So I think we need to match that up. There we go. And there is, oops, bottoms. We'll see if that just fits on. Yep. Look at the tiny label. It has Squirtle on it. So cute. <laughs> I can't stop saying cute. Then we have this little syrup pitcher and some syrup or honey to go in it. A lot of times they put honey on their pancakes here in Japan. And look at the lid. It is Pikachu shaped. I cannot handle this cuteness. The fork and spoon have monster ball designs on the top. This is amazing. Okay, so there's the pancake set. I need to keep moving along. We have a lot to open. Here's the fourth one. I wish all this food was real. Ta -da! Oh, oh, ah, I know what this is. I cannot contain my excitement. First off, we have the Oddish planter and I thought maybe this would come out, but it doesn't. It is a plant. How cool will that be to have a plant that looks like this? Next, we have a plate that is decorated with some chocolate, a roll cake with a monster ball design or pokeball design, a little Pikachu cake, tiramisu. I don't know, it has layers. I don't know what kind of cake this is supposed to be, but it looks like a moose with a Pikachu tail. That is too cute. I wanna eat all these. So there is the dessert plate. Oh wait, there's a little sprig of mint you can put on it. I am definitely going to be losing all these pieces. I need to take really good care of these. Another fork. Next we have a Pikachu coffee cup. I think that'd be kind of hard to drink out of with the tail, but maybe not. And some very black coffee. <laughs> no sugar and cream. Next one. I'm really excited for the savory foods. Oh, I think it's the Pikachu curry. Here is another Pikachu plate. Oh, I think it's the same as the pancake one, but just a different color and the design's a little different too. And then we have the curry, Pikachu shaped curry. I think they actually sell a mold to make curry like this. So there is the Pikachu rice, some carrots that look like monster balls. We have a pitcher and it looks like it comes with some minty lime water. I'm gonna pop that in there. And we have the bottom to go on it. I love that you can kind of take the inside out if you want to customize it or something. If you're a really good crafter, you can make some different drinks to put in there. Here is the cup. I love that the tiny items are detailed as well. Oh my goodness, a Pikachu napkin holder. And some napkins to go inside. Oh, this is so cute. And a little wooden spoon to eat the curry with. Same design as the other utensils. Three more to go. Which ones do we have left? I don't know. Let's just open it. Oh, I see a coffee pot. First item is a coffee pot. This is amazing. The theming is just perfect. I don't think there's any coffee to go in this, but there is a kind of a filter or drip thingy. I don't know what it's called, but goes on top of there. Here is another cup of very black coffee. I think it's an upside down. There we go. This set is called the morning set. So here is a little plate and some Pikachu bread. I'm assuming that's bread. It looks like bread. And a skillet with a Pikachu tail. And ham and eggs. Oh my goodness, I just noticed the eggs have a Pikachu on them. Okay, so that's that set. We have two more to go. I'm really looking forward to the burger set. We should be getting to that soon. Is this, oh, it's the burger, yes. We have a tray, the bottom half of the burger, which is very detailed. 
the top of the burger with a Pikachu face. It looks a little burnt. A little ramekin that is shaped like a monster doll. I guess in English you say Pokeball, right? In Japanese we say monster board. Have some, what I'm assuming is mayonnaise and ketchup. Perfect. And some Pikachu tail fries. I cannot get over this set. It is the best. Let's put you back on there. Oh, this is just too amazing. I love it. Way too much. Also comes with a drink. I wonder what kind of drink this is. There is a straw. I am so scared of losing this tiny straw. And an orange wedge. So cute and perfect. Okay. I don't even know what kind of accent that was. Last one. I think this should be the tea time one. I think. Alrighty, we have a table here. I'm super excited it comes with a little table because all the props are very tiny so far. Let's put that together. Again, it's a Pokeball Parfait Cup. Pikachu Parfait. Is this another napkin holder? Oh, that's the menu stand. That's cute. Let's look inside the menu. Ta -da! Oh my goodness, this is so well made. Finally, for those who do not drink coffee, we have a teacup with some tea and a long spoon to eat the parfait. Here are all the sets lined up. Of course, there's the table and the Pikachu figure that didn't fit, but there's pretty much everything and I love this set so much. I did not expect to be this excited about a remand set, but I am. I also have a bunch of gum, so that's good. Anyway, please let me know in the comments down below if you like seeing these full remand sets because I would love to get more and I would love to know if you guys are interested in seeing more. And I think that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you aren't already and give this video a thumbs up and let me know which set you thought was the cutest. I, hmm, they're all so cute, but I do have a soft spot for sweets. I like the sweets plate, but I also really like the burger too. Let me know which you thought was better and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Abby. Today I have the Hinyari Asian Sweets Rilakkuma set and it is a Hinyari means like chilled or cold Asian sweets. So we're gonna get into this. Let's get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the first one. Here's the packaging. I have not really seen this set before. I'm actually not sure where each sweet is from so you guys may have to help me out but Let's go ahead and open the first one. So since it is a full set, I am going to be opening them in order, so there's no element of surprise to it, but we get to check out the cuteness together. The first one is Tsumetai Kogecha, Flowering Tea. I've seen this before, so it has like the flower bud, I guess, and like you pour hot water over it and it opens up. Something like that. Um, I'm not sure which country it comes from but I have seen it here in cafes I know it's not originally Japanese I want to say like a Chinese tea of some sort but don't know the exact location anyway here are the parts here we have the teacup which is actually pretty big and the little mat it goes on so we'll put that there and I imagine this is supposed to be the tea and then the flower, does it go in a certain way? Something like that, it kind of floats on the top. And what is this? Oh, this goes underneath. And then it looks like it's floating inside the tea. And a little Rirakuma, he sits by it. It's pretty cute. For the second one, you know what? I'm just gonna take one randomly. So it gives us a little bit more fun. I feel like there are a lot of drinks. I guess sweets, that would include drinks too, huh? Ooh, butterfly pea. That's a type of flower, right? Is this a jelly? Here we have the cup. Has a cute Dirakuma design on it. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Here we have the drink, I guess. I always thought the butterfly pea tea was the blue tea that turns purple? I guess it turns into kind of this color, huh? There's a little thing for Korirakuma to sit on and one for Kiroi Tori to sit on and a little muddler, stick that in there. I guess Korirakuma is supposed to be holding that. And a little flower that 
seems to just kind of go with it, according to the photo. Let's move on to the next one. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, I bet this is onion dolfu. Uh, almond jelly? Strawberry almond tofu. I guess it is tofu, huh? But it's a sweet tofu. This one actually isn't my favorite because I'm not really into the almond essence. It is a very popular dessert here. Again, I want to say it's from China, but I am sorry if I'm wrong. This set looks fairly simple. Have a pretty plate. And then the tofu with kurirakuma looking at it and a strawberry jelly and the spoon I'm gonna say sticks in there I really like the 3d look of this set hmm I am struggling with this a little bit I'm trying to wedge that in there probably like that hmm oh I see another kurirakuma Ooh, this looks cool. Is this a shaved ice, maybe? Taiwan shaved ice. Here's the bowl, and then the shaved ice. I'm gonna say strawberry. Oh, there's a little korirakuma right there. And another korirakuma figure holding a spoon. These would be really good for toy photography. We are past the halfway point, guys. Why are we so cute? They're really addicting too. Like I love opening them blind, but full sets are where it's at. Another type of pudding, I'm gonna say mango pudding. Let's see. Jung, mango pudding. This one seems to kind of match the strawberry tofu pudding and some yellow on it. The way you place Rirakuma, if you place it the wrong way, it kind of looks like he is um, vomiting. We are going to place him to the side like we're supposed to. And so I didn't like the tofu pudding. I don't really like mango pudding either. Not a huge mango person. I like dried mango, but I don't like the texture of fresh mango. Next one, what do we not have yet? We don't have the IU jelly, the rainbow cake, and we don't have the tofu pudding, which I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure it's something made with soy. Oh, we have the IU jelly, the ogyochi. I am not familiar with this, but it looks like a citrus jelly, maybe? It comes with a special dish, this plate that kind of looks like a crown. And the image shows the bowl going on top of that, so that's kind of cute. And again, the bowl has a rirakuma design. I think rirakuma hangs off the edge of the cup. Hang on there, buddy. I don't know, the grip's not too great for these, so if you're gonna display them and you don't want them to fall over, I might suggest a dot of glue. But that seems to be okay. And then there's a little wedge to put the fruit in. It kinda looks like a lemon, but a little bit bigger. And then these little guys, which I don't know what they are. But there is that. If you've ever had this dessert, let me know what it is. Rainbow cake. Actually, I think the other one's the rainbow cake. So we saved the best for last, right? So this is the tofu pudding, or the tofa, tofa. Not sure how it's different from the onion tofu. Maybe it's a little more soft. Here's the bowl, the little flower on the side, and all of it comes together in one chunk, and Kiroi Tori is connected to it. So it looks like some mango, some maybe red beans, and I assume what is the tofu pudding, and then another little perching irakuma, very similar to the previous one. Last one, time flies when you're having fun. Rainbow cake. So I wanna know where the rainbow cake is supposed to be from because it was popular here last year. It was kind of a very Harajuku type scene, but I don't know if these include Japanese sweets. It's a very kind of Instagrammable sweet. 
plate. I really like that all the plates match. So we have this in blue, red, or pink, and green. And then here is the cake, except I think I have it upside down. Wait, why is it like this? Oh no, it goes like that. It's on its side. And then some, ooh, is that dragon fruit? Definitely not Japanese. I don't know where this is supposed to be from then. And then a little Kiroi Tori with a whipped cream dollop on his head. That was all for today. This one's probably one of my favorites. I really like the citrus jelly, the IU. Lots of color going on. Let me know what you guys thought of this set. If you're not already subscribed, please do. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Today we are going to be opening a full set of Freemans, and I have the, what is it called? The Kirby Terrarium Kit, Terrarium Collection, DX Memories. So apparently this is the second wave, I did not know that, but yeah, it's my first time opening a Kirby remat. I'm very excited. Let's get opening. So the newer remans I found are more expensive and more fancy. So there are only six in a box here. Sometimes there are eight. Let's just pull this out. Oh, am I gonna have to put this together? So it comes with the face and the terrarium. I'm gonna say the one with the flat part is the bottom. So I'm gonna pop that in there. It looks like a house. Here is a Kirby. There is a little hole in Kirby's foot. Kirby stretching or yawning. The English name is Green Greens, but the Japanese name is Harukaze to Tomoni. So it's like with the spring breeze. There's a stand and look at the stand's really pretty too. It has a cloud and star design on it. So that sits on there. So it doesn't snap shut or anything, but you have a very cute terrarium. Okay, so I know lately in my Magical Blind Box videos, I have complained about remits being a bit expensive, but honestly, this is kind of worth it. This is gonna be number two. Here's the first part, and ooh, this one's a bottle. Oh, it comes with a lid. Looks like something's gonna dangle from there. Ooh, this bottle has like a blue background. Oh no. Oh, ha ha ha, it comes out the bottom. A whoopsie. There is the base. It looks like it is a sandy beach and there are little parts. I was hoping with the terrariums we would be able to avoid the tiny parts, but guess not. The good thing about the terrarium though is that once they're in the terrarium, you don't have to worry about losing them unless you knock it over, which could happen. Okay, so this little guy goes in here and then we have the little leafies here and assume here and then so I think Kirby dangles so I'm gonna put this in from the top that doesn't seal shut either but that's okay just make sure it's even and then this one will go over oh and then it looks like Kirby is swimming it's gonna be a little hard for you to see from this angle but He's dangling. Okay, this one is my current favorite. Number three. Another stand, some little pieces, and oh, another dome. Oh, it looks like we have three domes and three bottles. This one gets a little crazy. This one has a little background piece. So this one is the Great Cave offensive. What? The English names make no sense. The previous one was called Float Islands, which kind of makes sense. The Japanese name for this one is Otakara o Motomete, looking for treasure, which sounds a little bit better than the Great Cave Offensive. I think this one goes here, that one there, one more there. We'll put it on the stand so it doesn't roll away. And then Kirby goes into the little cart. There's a little heart and I don't know what this is, but it's in the cart in the photo. So I'm gonna place it there. And as for the cart, there are little pegs here and voila. That one came with a lot of detail. Let's put the lid on, back on the stand and complete. We are now at the halfway point. Another bottle and some cute little figures in here. 
This one's called Warp Star. There is the dangle piece. I'm just gonna go ahead and set the lid on the bottle. And then these little posts. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna set it on here. And then again, not the greatest to see from this angle, but there is Curvy. Oh, these are so cute. I can't wait to display these. Number five. I think this is a sphere. Yup. And, ooh, some more cute pieces. I bet this is one that would look really cool with like a light underneath, cause it's kind of a translucent plastic. Lots and lots of tiny pieces. Look at all these. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. Thankfully, it's the one on the front of the box, so I have a bigger image than the one on the side. Ta-da! It took me a few minutes, but I got it. And this one in English is just called Nova. We are down to our final one. Should be one last bottle, terrarium. I think the last time I played a Kirby game was on Game Boy Color. So I'm not very up to date on Kirby games, but I do appreciate the character. And I wouldn't mind playing some of the newer ones. Let me know if there's a good one I should check out. This one's called Final Battle, and I like this one. There's a lot of motion to it, and I love the colors, the copper, metallic look. And there is no dangly piece for this one. You get to look at them from above. I know, not the greatest angle. But that was a lot of fun. I have a new appreciation for the bigger and more expensive remints. Bye! Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Little Twin Stars Sweets Factory remint. And I received this set for Christmas, so it was actually a little while ago, but I'm just now getting around to opening it, so let's check it out together. Here are the eight sets that are included. Usually these are in order, so I'm going to start here and I'm going to work my way back. Here's a quick look at the packaging. It's always so cute. And I love the little twin stars. This is the basic pastry dough set. Here's the mixing bowl. There's a little star shape on the handle and, oh, you can lift it up like this, which means this can go in here. And there's a little Kiki and Lala. Nope, just one on the side here. That sits there. And then here's a bag of flour and a little sift. And look at, there's a star on the bottom. The attention to detail is amazing. Here are some tiny pieces that I am very scared of losing, but they are little Kiki and Lala that supposedly sit on the edge of the bowl here. And that's the first set. Second box. Minna no dakko cookie. Chocolate hug cookies. Lots of little pieces again. Here's the cookie tray. It says little twin stars. It's so cute. Then here is the little chocolate jar. And these go in here. And then another piece that I'm definitely going to lose. A little lone star. I don't know why they did that. And the little lid. Here's a unicorn cookie. And I guess they're called um, chocolate hugs because Kiki and Lala are holding the little chocolates. And then there are cookie cutters to go with it. This is so perfect. I love it. Third box. Ooh, eclairs. Decorated eclair. Here are the contents. It looks like a baking tray with Kiki and Lala. And a decorated eclair. And a little bear to decorate it. Does he stand up? He does. Oops, maybe not the little piping bag there and here is a little cloud shaped dish and more cloud chocolates for decorating maybe and the scooper fourth box classic lemon pie it looks like a lemon meringue pie here is a pot with Kiki and Lala of course they have it fully designed and I think the lemon cream goes in here. Looks like this is a thermometer to measure the temperature of the lemon custard. A little bowl and I don't know what that's supposed to be. Sugar? And a lemon that fits right on top. 
And then here is the completed pie. We are now on to the fifth box. Glossy fruit tart plate. Here is a little jar of jam. Here it says napaju, and this says napaj or napage, napaj. <laughs> I'm not sure. So I'm assuming it's this, a type of. I am very lost, but here's the little pan, super cute. And then another little fellow to help out. Is this guy supposed to stand up on his own? Yes! Here's the tart, it's star shaped with some whipped cream and a strawberry. And here are some cherries. The photo shows them sitting right here, so I don't know if this is a plate or a little prep board or what. Here is set six. Right? Yeah, six. Okay. Ooh. What is this? Developing new recipes. Oh, that's cute. Looks like there's a scale and a pastry of some sort. Butter. I think that's butter. Oh, maybe it's pie crust? Fresh cream. The sticker is a little crooked. A measuring cup. Another little helper. A cat, I think. He's the same color as the scale. There we go. Seventh set. Ooh. I feel like that's my reaction to every box. Uh, jelly with frosted cookie. Okay. And I think this goes in here. That's the jelly. And then here is the jelly dish. And is this the jelly that goes in here? And I think the cookie's supposed to lean on this. Here's a strainer. A wooden spoon with a little star cut out. And cider. We are now on the last one. Oh, there's the gum. Which is not very good, to be honest. Oh, this is a big set. Looks like a cake tray. Special anniversary cake. Cake stand. Cake. Mixing bowl. Cake frosting. Frosting tool. Oops. Chocolate plate. And cake toppers. Ah, uh, there are little dents on the cake. I think there's probably a certain way this goes. And a lid so it stays fresh. Oh, it fell over. Here's the full set all lined up. It is so pastel and I love it. I need a little miniature kitchen now to set all this up in. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for following along. Hopefully I'll have another remint set soon. And if you have any cute ones, send me pictures. I'm Studio Lorian on Instagram, so I would love to see your photos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening up this full set of remints, and it is the Toy Story Carnival. I'm very excited to open this. Here are the contents. I'm going to have all eight of these, and we're going to take a close look at them. So, let's get started. Here are the eight boxes. They look so good. I love opening full sets. So, I'm going to pull them out. I believe they're in order, but we can take a look at the boxes. Here they are all lined up. They are out of order now because I kind of messed that up. But, let's just get started. I'm just going to start with this one, and we'll open them up. It looks like the first one is a hot dog. It's called Lovely Foods. I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera so we can take a closer look. Here are all the pieces. That looks like a really good hot dog. And it looks like some pizza bread maybe? Or maybe just bread. It looks like it has egg on it, which is a very Japanese thing. And here's a little booklet. Say cheese! Oh, it's like the little ride photos you get. Then we have the little Jessie milkshake. That's super cute. It's wearing a little hat. And, let's see, I think the straw will go in like that. Ta-da! Let's move on to the next one. Oh, it's the top part of the candy wagon. And they make it look like it's just a little shelf and then the candy cart, but they're supposed to go together. So they kind of encourage you to buy the whole set. 
it does say candy wagon upper part so let's take a look and see if I can put this together that one definitely goes there and this one how does this one work ta-da that's pretty cute and then here is ham and the, I think these little chocolate coins go in the little piggy bank it's like a little candy container oh this one just kind of pokes out that's pretty cool moving on I didn't even really look at the lamp so let's see oh it looks like little green alien what is it it is a little game the only thing about remence is there are so many little parts okay so it's a little ring toss game and go on there or is that the other way probably supposed to go like this I don't know if that's right but it works so the little rings go on here and there is a little alien I think this guy's supposed to be the prize and this one looks like a little carnival light this is the fourth one so we'll be halfway through Ooh, what is this? Oh, I see Jesse's hat. Is that a churro? It's called Cowboy Goods. So like little souvenir tins, churros, and like little souvenir hats you can buy at theme parks. Looks like we have a tin of Sheriff Star cookies. I wonder which what way this is supposed to go in. Does it not really matter? Like that. And some churros that go in Woody's boot. That's pretty cute. And then, of course, the lid for the tin, which looks like a little merry-go-round, maybe, I think. And Jesse's hat. This is the fifth box, so we're getting there. Oh, it's the bottom half of the candy cart. That was loud. There we go. So it's a little push cart. Let me see if I can attach these stickers properly. too bad that'll do so let's connect it with the top part of the wagon does it connect oh it just sits on top I guess three more to go I wonder which ones are still missing oh it looks like there's a little balloon oh a little ice cream cone that's so cute ice cream it's all high carnival guide map let's open it up oh it doesn't really say much but that's pretty cute. Anyway, we have the little balloon. Oh, it's a Buzz Lightyear balloon. And I'm assuming this goes on the little balloon stand here. And we have the little ice cream stand and the little green alien ice cream. And then I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a little pass case. And you can print out the ticket here, not print out, cut out. I'll do that later on, but that's super cute. It's just like Disneyland. Two more to go, guys. Ooh. Oh, it's a popcorn machine. Looks like this is a little popcorn bucket. Let's see if I can put this together without ruining it. Might need a little bit of glue later on, but it'll do for now. I'm just going to put the popcorn in here. That popcorn looks so real. Like that. A little popcorn holder. That doesn't want to stand up. You can do it, popcorn. Cooperate with me. There we go. Nope. I'll glue it later. And then this popcorn, I'm assuming, goes in here, which does this open? Oh wow, it does. And there's popcorn coming out. This goes in here like that. Oh wow, that's so cool. I love it. And then there's a little woody statue that just kind of sits on top, supervising the popcorn business. That's adorable. I love it. Finally, we have the last one. Um, what one? I think it's going to be that one. Yep. So we have little green army men gummies. I'm assuming is what they are. 
and they go in the little bucket of little green army men and then there are a few here that you can separate and then this looks like it is the woody <laughs> i think they actually have this at disneyland in japan tokyo disneyland oops i don't know if i was supposed to push that that far <laughs> in there we go his mouth opens that's pretty cute and then the little candies go in there we go now that I have everything open, I think I'm going to try and set it up as one display, so we'll see how that goes. Here's what it looks like all set up. I did cut out a few things. I didn't cut out all the little paper crafts, but this is a really cute set. I love that it's pretty much like Disneyland. Let me know what you guys thought, and if there are any other remat sets you would like me to open and check out, please let me know down below, and I'll see if I can find them. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening a full box of Remens, and this is a Piske and Usagi set, and they are drawn by one of my favorite artists, illustrators, and I have loved her work since I was probably in middle school, I think. I'm so excited to see so much of her art being turned into merchandise, especially these two. They are pretty popular here, I would say. So, we have eight boxes here, so it's a full set, and this is Harapeko time. Harapeko means like empty stomach, so it's like hungry time. Here's the lineup, but you guys are gonna get to see them all anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open. Looks like there's no gum or paper craft or anything in here. Here's the dish, it says Harapeko time, and then here is the curry that Usagi is sitting in it. Usagi is the word for rabbit in Japanese, so his name is rabbit. Or maybe it's a she, I actually don't know. And then there's a little prong thingy here on the ladle, so it goes on the curry like this, and it's very 3D. And curry is one of my favorite dishes, so I'm gonna put this here, and let's check out the next one. Who is this? Spaghetti? Or as my grandpa used to say, paschetti. I think a lot of people said that. There's a super tiny piece. Here's the plate, it's a different design, but there's piske and usagi on it. And then here are the noodles. And then here is the meat sauce. And this is kind of like a puzzle. You have to figure out how it goes on here. There we go, I got that. And then there is a little piece of parsley here. There's a hole it goes in. It might be basil, actually, I don't know. But it goes there. But I'm just gonna leave this like this for now because I am going to lose it. I do have a case for all of my remands, though, so when I put it away, we'll put them together. Third one, let's see. If we're going in order, it should be the kakigori, the shaved ice. And it is. I usually don't buy these remands that can't really be used with other miniatures because these are kind of, you know, just kind of like figures on their own. But this set, I could not resist. Here it is, and it is Usagi sitting on some shaved ice, and he's either super cold or he got some syrup on him. I think he's cold. <laughs> That's really cute. Next is the fourth one, and we'll be halfway through. I'm just gonna keep on zooming through. This is, hmm, looks like a fried egg. Let me try to figure this out. It looks like there is a stand. I'm gonna assume that goes like that. And then we have piske with the fried egg that goes on like that, I think. And then we have some vegetables and, whoa. So they are flying out, it's like someone's kind of tossing the fry pan maybe, and there's a stand, so you stand it up, something like that. Here is the fifth one, and is this an okonomiyaki? Now I would call this a Japanese style pancake, but it's savory, so I feel like pancake gives the wrong impression. Here is the plate, it's kind of Japanese-y with some sakura, cherry blossoms on it, and then here, is the okonomiyaki, and on the bottom you can see here is Usagi sitting on the handle of the server or flipper, whatever you want to call it. This one's cute. Maybe not as colorful, but it is a very common and popular dish here. Next one. Ooh, ramen. And it comes in this little box so it doesn't get bent, I guess, or broken. Here's the bowl, very common ramen bowl design, and then piece of Usagi. Here is the ramen. The soup is a little orange looking. I think Piske sits in the soup here. You just have a little bath, you know? And then the noodles go in here. So it's like you're lifting up the chopsticks, except the chopsticks are a little bent. 
And there is a little usagi kamaboko or fish sausage. I think it sits here somewhere like that, maybe. That's pretty cool. The soup is a little too orange for my liking. But other than that, the seaweed is textured and I'm sure we can straighten these chopsticks out. Two more to go. I think we have, let's see, a sandwich and drink. Is that what that is? Actually, they all have English names on the side here. I should be reading those off. This one is just called cola, and the Japanese says pushu, which is the sound it makes when you open like a fizzy drink. Here's the glass, it's pretty big. And then here is the cola, it's splashing out of the glass. There are ice cubes, I love how this is so in motion. Here's the bottle, it has piskin usagi on it. I'm assuming this goes on here like you're pouring the cola. And there's a usagi, I think he sits on the cup here, he's like holding on to it, like, would you like some cola or Coke? I guess you say in English and Japanese, we call it cola. I think this one may be my favorite so far. I know it's simple, but I really like this. And last but not least, we have the sandwich set. Oh my goodness, I think this one's my favorite. So here is the plane. I guess that was right side up. That image is the cutest thing ever. And then, look at this, guys. Look at Piska in this sandwich. He's squished in there. And here's the other sandwich. What kind of sandwich do you think that is? Kind of looks like corned beef to me. And cheese, you think? This doesn't want to stand up. Maybe like this. There we go. That's better. And there is a little sprig of parsley. It almost looks like broccoli. I'm gonna put it there. And this is adorable. Look at him all squished in there. And here are the eight remints that I opened today. And you know, now that I'm looking at them, I don't know which one's my favorite. Which one do you like the best? Let me know in the comments down below. And let me know if you like these remint opening videos because I do have a few more sets to open and would love to know if you like these videos. And I think that's all. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the new Rirakuma Summer Remint set and this is brand brand new, so I hope you guys will enjoy. I'm really excited to check it out. Looks like there are a lot of cute sets in here, so let's get started. Here's what the inside of the box looks like, and this is the full set, of course. So I'm going to start right here on the left side. The first set is Seaside Barbecue, so it comes with a little grill and all the little parts, so let's take a look. Here we have the bottom part of the grill. It says Rirakuma. And then the little net that goes on top. A pair of tongs, a little bear shaped shell with a scallop on the inside. Some squid. And there's a little Rirakuma face on there too. Let's set the tongs here. And a little Kiroi Tori who is fanning the flames, or maybe a hot Rirakuma. It's really cute. He's wearing a little straw hat. This is the second box. Ooh, I see a surfboard. This is the cold drink set. Okay. Here we have the little cooler box that says Rirakuma. And then some ice to go in here. And let's see, does this bottle of tea go in here? And then there is a bottle of Bamune. They both have a Rirakuma design on them. And then I guess this is a little prop. It's a little surfboard. It says Rirakuma. It doesn't want to stand up. It also comes with these little paper crafts that you can use as posters or little flyers. This is the third box. The little shaved ice kit. Here's the little kakigori or shaved ice machine and you usually put the ice in here. And then the little cup would go in here and spin it to make the little shaved ice. And look at this. The little shaved ice is kiroi tori. That's adorable. And then of course here are the syrups, his strawberry syrup and a lemon syrup. Very hard to see but it comes with a little spoon. I think I can poke this in here maybe, maybe not. A little spoon and a little ladle to pour the syrup over the top. And look at the little ladle is Rirakuma shaped. Next is the fourth box. This is the nap in beach house set. So we have a little tatami mat here and let's take a look at what else. We have the little tatami mat here. It says Rirakuma. It has a summer print on it. And then a little lazy Rirakuma taking a nap. A little Rirakuma plate with some watermelon. It looks like Rirakuma took a bite out of that piece. 
And then I think this is probably one of my favorite props in this set. It's a little Dirakuma fan. It is so cute. This is the fifth box, and this is from the front side of the box. It looks like we have some food here. It says this is the Chinese noodle set. Here is our Dirakuma head shaped wooden table. A little ramen bowl. It says Dirakuma. And then here is the ramen. It's just a thin piece here and it goes on top of the bowl. There's the Dirakuma fish cake and then some seaweed and then the different toppings. Looks really good. And then this is Katori Senko and it is kind of like incense that they burn to keep mosquitoes away. Here is the little wick. I don't know if it's the smoke or the smell that's supposed to keep the mosquitoes away, but it goes in there. And then the little lid. And of course, a bottle of orange juice. And this is probably sweet orange juice. And then a pair of little chopsticks. And there is a little dirakuma head. They really know how to make this dirakuma themed. This is the sixth box, and we have three more to go. Ooh, looks like a beach set. I suppose all of this is beach themed. This is sea goods, so like inner tubes, and let's see what else. First we have a little parasol here with a stand, so let's put that there. Next we have a little Koriakuma inner tube, it's super cute. And then a little pump, and this is to probably blow up the inner tube. It's a little foot pump, and actual pumps in Japan look like this. It's yellow and blue. It's not dirakuma shaped, it's usually round, but they look just like that. Finally, there are a pair of beach sandals. They're super cute. Next, we have the seventh box. And let's see, what one is this? It is the fireworks set. The detail is amazing. So here is the little paper that is going to be the firework holder and it's supposed to look like that. You need to cut out this and make that so confusing. And then here are the sparklers, little handheld fireworks. They're so tiny. And then of course you need a snack when you do fireworks. So here's some buttered corn, grilled corn, roasted corn, and then a little dirakuma bucket to put the fireworks in when you're done. This kind of looks like an ice cube, but I think it's water. And then here's the tiniest piece. It's the little candle to use with the fireworks. Here is the eighth and last one. It is the sandy beach set. First we have a little beach sand castle, a dirakuma castle, and korirakuma working very hard. Next we have this little container and look at it. It looks just like the little plastic containers you get at Supermarkets are convenience stores, well, here in Japan anyway. So here's a little yakisoba to go in it. And the lid, of course, is dirakuma shaped. So the lid doesn't really stay on that well, but it looks really cute. Here is the full set all set up. I love each and every one. I don't know if I could pick a favorite. I definitely like the little fan because it's so cute, but I love all the food items too, and I really like that it comes with so many props that you can use with miniatures or dolls, and the theming is so perfect. So, let me know what you guys thought, and if you like these Reman opening videos, because I can do more in the future if you do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Hachimitsu Tororin figure set, and it's the Rilakkuma Honey Sweets set, and this just arrived yesterday. It came out a few days ago, so I'm very, very excited to check it out. It looks like um, Korirakuma's new friend is here, and all the figures look really, really cute. As you can see, there are eight boxes here, so this is going to be a complete and full set. I'm just going to start at the front here and look at them one by one. It's the little honey dipper. Oh, the figure's a lot smaller than I thought. Here's the honey, and then the little honey dipper goes in here. And then I think the little bear friend just grabs onto it, I think. He doesn't quite want to stay on there, so I may end up gluing him on later with a little bit of glue, but that's what the first one looks like. Let's continue with the second one. These are all honey themed, so we're going to be seeing a lot of honey here. This is, looks like a honeycomb. This one is called Everyone Loves Honey. I guess that's pretty true, isn't it? And then how does this go on there? The little bear sits on the top, so there is that one. This should be the third one. 
party dot come It's interesting that all of these parts come apart and you kind of have to fit them together. I would have minded them all coming as one figure because this is confusing. And then you have to balance the little figure, but I guess if you want to mix and match them, that's pretty good. So, there's the third one. Stay! This should be the fourth one. I'm looking forward to the pancake one, too. I think that should be coming up in a minute. This is the tea time one. Oh, this one's cute, too. Here we have the little plate, the saucer, and then the teacup. And then, I'm assuming this is a tea, not just honey. Here's the little pitcher that the honey's pouring out of. There we go. And then here's the little lemon. I'm assuming it goes in here where the little wedge is. Looks like that. That's actually pretty cool. I can see why they kept it separate because it might have gotten, you know, broken in process of shipping it and delivering it to stores and stuff. So, there is that. We'll take a closer look at them all later. Here's the fifth one. I think this one should be the pancake one. Oh, maybe not. This is a donut one. So this one is number eight, which means number five is in the back side of the box. That's interesting. Here's a little plate. I would definitely say that remints are collectibles and not toys because they come with a lot of small pieces. Let's see if I can figure this one out. Looks like the honey is supposed to go on the donut somehow. And then this donut, I think, sits back here. And the little mint leaf should go here, I think. That means this one should be seven, which is uh, apple and honey ice cream. Here's a little dish. Here is the ice cream. And let's see. How does this go on? That should be right, and I think the apples go in here. And then little Rilakkuma should sit in the little ice cream bowl. Look at his face. He has red cheeks. And he's holding a spoon. And then the little pitcher pouring the honey. I've never put honey on my ice cream before. It sounds interesting. Two more to go. This should be the little mason jar. Yup. I don't think this one's going to be too hard to set up. So this is supposed to be a lemon and honey. There are lemons in here. There's a Rilakkuma shaped lemon. And here is the little straw. I'm just going to poke that in here. I think that's right. And then there's the lid. Does it screw on? Not really. And then the little Kiroi Tori just sits on top. So we'll try to balance them there. Last one. This was the one I was kind of waiting for. The pancakes, I think. Yep, the pancakes. Here's the plate. Here is the first pancake. This is so confusing. I'm assuming Rilakkuma lays in the little dent here. I was totally wrong. That's supposed to be his pillow. That makes more sense. The mint just goes on the plate here. So, now that is all of them. Let's take a closer look. Here's the little honey dipper. Here's the Korolakuma donut. These are not in the order I opened them. Here's the Kiroi Tori mason jar. Here's Rilakkuma having some tea. Here's the Rilakkuma apple ice cream. That one's so cute. Here's Korolakuma's little friend sitting on a honeycomb. Here's the unstable Korolakuma honey. Stand there. Hold on to the spoon. You can do it. There we go. And finally, the little Rilakkuma pancake. I'm going to make some more room here. Here's the complete set all put together. It looks so cute. I was a little unsure about this set at first. I kind of thought it was an overload of honey, and it totally is, but I am in love with each and every figure. So, let me know which one you like the best, and if you would get this kit. I'll leave a link down below to a Japanese website that ships internationally where you can get it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you like seeing full sets of remints and different toys, Please leave this video a thumbs up so I can know and do more in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!